still waiting on my Jack and Coke. Gosh, the service here in B-Dubs is incredible. But you don't have to worry about my service. Going to be doing 2017 Donruss Certified Cuts Football. Six box half case break number 12. While I wait for my drink, let's get this break going. And as always, good luck, everybody. What up, black and gold? How you doing? Yeah, like, you know, the U.S., we've sucked for a while. Don't get me wrong. I, I love my country, but some of the shit we do, man. I'm doing good, my man. I'm doing good. How are you, black and gold? I can only imagine, J503. I can only imagine, man. Baby Driver is actually a really good movie. Let me know what you think about it. It does not suck. You suck. Oh, you didn't see the movie. Never mind. Well, yeah, the ending was hella corny. Uh, who won the giveaway? It was uh, some guy. Harry? Harry something? He won a spot in there? Africa. Africa's done some... There you go, comic book hero. Uh, Africa recently in 94, the Hutus and the Tutsis, mass genocide going on down there in Africa. So, you know, people think genocide is like, oh my God, genocide. That hasn't happened in forever ago. Dude, in 94, there was a mass genocide. So like, you know, us here in the States, like we really, we really got it really good, man. We got it real good out here. Well, Comic Book Hero, tell your buddy to buy into the brakes, man. And let him know that uh, you can save $15 on your first purchase when you register for an account at RipCityCards.com, baby. It's not basketball, but he be balling Ezekiel Elliott for the Cowboys. Got that there. Uh, you got the third spot, my man. Gail Sayers to 99 for the Bears. Pretty much black and gold. What I like about that movie, though, is like, you know, since, since he's kind of like deaf, I like how the music is pretty much, it, the, the music is what drives, pun intended, the film, which I think is pretty cool. Dante Foreman for the Texans with a patch. To two ninety nine, Jamal Williams for the Packers. Ooh, Derek Burns, you are asking a tall task of me, my friend. I've opened up a few cases of this, and I will tell you right now, I have yet to see a Tom Brady autograph. So if I pull a Tom Brady autograph, what I want you to do is go play the lottery, because you are extremely lucky if that happens. Marshawn Lattimore to 99 for the Saints, and then I will also go play the lottery. Uh, I'll probably buy like a scratch off or something, see if uh, some of that luck will rub off on me. To 399 Peyton Manning of the Colts. Exactly, black and gold. Like that's that's that was that was I thought that was cool, you know? How the soundtrack of the of the movie pretty much reflects what he's going through. I thought that was cool. It's uh it's an original film, you know, which at least I think it's an original it's probably a remake, I don't know. Always gotta shoot your shot, my dude. Always shoot your shot, Derek. Brian Hill to the Falcons to three ninety nine. 
Oh, dude, Jamie Foxx is a great actor. Great actor. To two ninety nine, Chris Godwin, two color patch on that corner there with the on card auto for the Bucks. Beans, how you feeling, better man? Well, listen, you're alive, and that's 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 all I care about. You gonna feel better. You gonna feel better tomorrow. I I spoke it into existence, so it's gonna happen. Nothing going on there. All right. Let's open up another box. Ow! That could have been really bad. You want me to see the mummy? I have. I don't know how I feel about that. Cause I'll be honest. I'm not I'm not a fan of Tom Cruise. I I'm not a fan of Tom Cruise. Maybe if they brought Brendan Fraser back to do the the mummy, then maybe I would want to watch it. Oh no, I'm Gucci, baby. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. I mean, I am sure the graphics in the 27th in the 2017 version are are amazing. You know, I just, I feel, I, I would feel dirty cheating on my boy Brandon Frazier watching that reboot. I'm not, and, and truth be told, I'm, I'm really not a fan of reboots. I know, Derek, I know. Just like you, hey, listen, you guys like to, you know, bust my balls. I like to bust balls back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. What up, J-Rod? How you doing, man? It's like a, a brand new original story with the mummy. Same title, different movie. So, so you couldn't even be bothered to come up with a new title, like for real? Like, now you're just lazy. Like, they should have called that movie The Mummy's Back, bitch. And then I would have seen that shit for show. Nick Bapa, what's a good reboot? N name a good reboot. Dude, I have great ideas, too. And then, you know, I just check myself. Before I riggedy wreck myself... Mitchell Trubisky, three-color patch there, barely in the counter. On-card auto there for the Bears. That is nice. Number to 49, very nice. If you got the Bears, you're going to be real happy. Nothing going there. For the Rams, Gerald Everett to 25, auto. The rope, dude. I haven't seen the. Ro Actually, I didn't even. There was a RoboCop reboot. I would actually want to watch that. I didn't even know that came out. Cause uh, the original trilogy, I think it was a trilogy, for uh, for RoboCop back in Detroit. In what is it like? <laughs> set in the like it, that movie's so crazy. Jarvis Landry to ninety nine for the Dolphins. Yeah, Ghostbusters. I would not want to watch that. Uh, I would not want to watch that. Two ninety nine, David Johnson of the Cardinals. The Legend of the Drunken Master is Jackie Chan in that one? To three ninety nine, Jim Brown of the Browns. I like reboots that like pay homage to the original. Oh, so I might have heard. I think it's on Netflix. I think I have it like in my queue. Tyler Lockett for the Seahawks. Yes, the dad from the '70s show. 
Uh, Red, as I would know him, is uh, the bad guy in the original. Dude, that, and he plays a really good asshole. He plays a really good asshole. Like, that would be me. Like, if I was to be, like, an actor, that'd be my role. Oh, you need an asshole for your movie? I got you. Yeah, I also heard about that. Coming to, well, uh, it's not a, uh, from what I heard, it's not a remake. It's a, uh, it's a sequel. TJ Logan for the Cardinals to 399. So, I, I, I want to know, like, are they still working at McDowell's? Like, like what's what's the deal there? Carlos Henderson with a patch for the Broncos. Like, are they still using Soul Glow? Like, so many questions. So many questions. Just let your soul glow. Let it shine through. Yeah, coming to America. Apparently, they're doing a sequel to it. Or a remake. Something like that. And they gotta, they gotta, they gotta pay homage to the original. And they gotta put Eddie Murphy... And, uh, what's, who, who, I think, Ar is, isn't Arsenio in that shit? There it is. See, I knew, I know, I know my stuff. I don't know much, but, you know, I know a few things. Dude, if they do a reboot, like I was saying earlier, I, I like reboots when they, uh, when they pay homage to, like, the original. So if they're going to do like a reboot or even if it's a sequel, they got to have Eddie and Arsenio in there. Oh, man. Do you really? I didn't know you could buy tickets for the Star Wars movie already. I would buy my shit for show. I was actually, I was watching Rogue One a few nights ago. And Rogue One is such a good movie. Like when Vader comes out at the end and then like I put it all together. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then I nerd out. Samuel L. Jackson was in it too, but he didn't. I, wait, wait, what was his part? I don't think. I think he was like a bum or something. Samuel Jackson. Dude, Rogue One's a really good movie. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. When I saw it in the movie theater, I shed a tear. Like I cried. Like I shed a thug tear. Like one tear came down the cheek. And, uh, it was, you know, it, it was a really good movie, man. It was a really good movie. He holds up the McDowell's. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. I remember. Dude, it's been so long since I've seen Coming to America. I, I, I used to watch those movies. Like, I used to have them on VHS. And, uh, so I would always watch them and stuff. Bapa, I think I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. I wasn't mad about Jar Jar Binks, but I wasn't exactly, you know, stoked about it either. John Ross the third patch for the Bengals. Well, that's the thing about Rogue One is like you, you even if you saw episode 1, and you know what happens, like, that last scene, when Vader comes out, like, you, you can't help but geek out. 10 out of 10 for the Cardinals. You know, the new Spider-Man reboot that they're doing, I actually, I like it. I like the, the new Spider-Man, because he's kind of like, you know, it is what it is. He's a kid. He's still in high school, you know what I mean? Kenny G for the Lions with a patch. I will say I, I'm not a fan of the new Batman, uh, and that's you know, and I, and and I will say, for the sole purpose that Ben Affleck is playing Batman. With that being said, it's not bad. I just hate I just hate Ben Affleck that much. To three ninety nine, Fran Tarkenton for the Vikings. Yeah, the new I'm not a fan of the new Batman. My Batman would always be, uh, oh, there's a Trubisky to 99 here for the Bears. The one with, like, and it was probably, like, the cheesiest one. <laughs> but it's my favorite Batman movie. What's his name, dude? To 199, Adam Shaheen, that's his name for the Bears. 
with the auto. Uh, it's the one with Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. And then they have Uma Thurman in there as Poison Ivy. Uh, Robin's in there. Batgirl's in there. To three ninety nine, Trent Taylor for the Niners. Was it Val Kilmer? I feel like Val Kilmer was before that. Clooney, yes, George Clooney. That's the one. That's my Batman. Although Val Kilmer did a good job. Auto for Marlon Mack. Two color pressure for the Colts too. Who's that dude? It's there. It was. It was before Kilmer, before Clooney. It's the one with Catwoman. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton was a good Batman too. And the Joker, played by uh, played by what's his name? I always forget his name. It is a shame. Oh, Adam West was hilarious, dude. I've seen like bits of it on YouTube and stuff like that. Super entertaining. Rest in peace, Adam West. My bad, yeah. Yeah. Jack Nicholson. That was a... Uh, ooh, question here now. Who's the better Joker? Jack Nicholson? Or uh, what's that other guy's name? Heath Ledger, I think was his name. Yeah, that was the only Batman with the Penguin. Uh, the Penguin was uh, Danny DeVito. If I if I'm not mistaken, they should bring back the Penguin because the Bing the Penguin was uh, a pretty pretty cool villain. Heath Ledger, and it's not even close. I'm I like. The uh, the version that Jack Nicholson did, but I agree Heath Ledger by a by a wide margin. But they play different styles of uh, of 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 Jokers. You know the the Heath Ledger Joker was more of an anarchist, whereas the uh, the Nicholson Joker was more. In my opinion, he was more gangster. But both were amazing. I, I agree, J-Rod. You mean the one the one with Jim Carrey in it? That one? I don't even remember that one. Michelle Pfeiffer. Wasn't she Catwoman, though? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Suicide Squad Joker is by far my least favorite Joker. But, you know, you got to understand, it's, they're, 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 they're trying different things. They're trying to, like, modernize it or whatever. Yeah, uh... Carrie was the Riddler, but I'm trying to remember which one that was. I think that's the one where where Seal is doing like the music for it. You guys know what I'm talking about? Two ninety nine Devonte Freeman for the Falcons. You know what I wish they would do? I wish they would come out with like movies that were adapted based off the video games. Because the Batman video game series, like Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, those those video games are amazing. To ninety nine, Randy Moss of the Vikings. That'll that'll forever be my favorite Batman though. The one with uh, Schwarzenegger and Uma Thurman. Put, like they had so, Bane was in that. Like they had so many villains. Solomon Thomas to uh, for the Niners to three ninety nine. Nothing here for the Rams. Josh Reynolds with a patch. What's going on, Braden? Uh, doing a little certified cuts, but in the meantime, you know, talking a little movies. Like, what's everyone's favorite Batman role? Like, who who is who do you who is your Batman? 
Mine is Clooney. Sterling Shepard for the Giants with the auto. What's, is this thing numbered? To 99. What else we got here? To 399, Emmett Smith of the Cowboys. Oh, he, he currently still is, McBop. I'm pretty sure he's cleaning somebody's pipes right now. Patrick, that's my homes. With a barely three-color patch on there for the Chiefs. Numbered 49 out of 49. You don't even watch Batman? Then never mind. He's married? Well, what's well, what's that saying that you say, McBapa? Rings don't plug holes. So it don't, you know, you're telling me Clooney's not out here still getting strange left and right? This would be box number four, Derek. TJ Logan for the Cardinals to 99. Yeah, McBapa dropped that thing in a, in a chat once for me. Or I think it was McBapa. Or I'm just giving him credit for it right now. He dropped that thing in a chat once and it stuck with me. Because it's so true. Rob Gronkowski to 99 for the Patriots. You didn't like it really? Uh, Sean? I mean, time flies when you're having fun, Derek. Wasn't the Tim Burton Batman the one with Keaton in it? I'm trying to, like, get, get, get my bearings together. There you go, beads! <laughs> you can lay that on her, you know? When you're done and she's, like, trying to cuddle up. You just be all like, rings don't plug holes, girl. And then bounce. Wasn't Keaton good? I remember I was watching a documentary like UJ503. And I think uh, Keaton was going to direct Superman. And I think he was going to have uh, Nicolas Cage be, be be Superman. I know I know for a fact that, that uh, Nicolas Cage was up. To be uh, Superman at one point, but those plans fell through, and thank God they did. Because if Nicolas Cage was Superman, uh, I would never, ever, 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 ever watch that ever again. Although I will say Nicolas Cage has been in some of like my favorite movies, like Face Off. Fucking love that movie. Dude, I was just going to say, Papa, like, Keaton is extremely underrated. He recently was the vulture in Spider-Man. But, yeah, people forget that he was Beetlejuice. Like, Keaton is the man. Uh, yeah, this is box number five. Con Air was another good movie. I'll give you that. I mean, there's not many. There's where, What's the one where they're, like, uh, where he's, like, in a boxing match or whatever? Something like that. Yeah, I'm watching it right now, Brayden. Yasiel Puig is killing it. Killing it. And what's even crazier is that my boy CBJ got a bat uh, from a fellow breaker at the National signed by Yasiel Puig. And he was going to give it away. So I hope he held on to that thing. They're doing another Beetlejuice. See, that, uh, they got to they gotta put Keaton in there. To 99, Jordan Howard of the Bears. To 399, Earl Campbell of the Titans. I know it says Oilers, but that's where it goes. It goes to the Titans. Don't believe me? Check the checklist, baby. For the Colts, Marlon Mack with a patch. Well, I could care less about the Cubs anymore. They won their they won their they won their uh, World Series already. I'm officially rooting for the Astros.
Troy Aikman with a patch to 99 for the Cowboys. Yeah, the only reason I'm rooting for the Astros is because uh, I know they've never won a World Series. And uh, in my opinion, they're an underdog just for that. Derrick Henry for the Titans to 99. And I always root for the underdog. Always. Always have, always will. Someone's got to look out for the little guy. Nothing going there to 299. Joshua Dobbs with a three color patch on the Kona. And I do have the Altuve Auto. You know? See? You are you are absolutely. I know the Yankees are the underdog, but the Yankees have won way too many World Series to even count. Check out that Altuve. Yeah, you know I, I keeps it on deck. I keep it on deck. You know what if he wins MVP? I, I don't know. I might be inclined to sell that thing. Exactly. And Houston just got through dealing with a, uh, you know, one of the worst, you know, natural disasters in U.S. history. So that's just a feel-good story, you know what I mean? And who doesn't like that? So it would be super awesome for the city of Houston if they could win a, you know, if they could win the World Series. That'd be awesome. Marcus May to three ninety nine for the Jets. I know you don't. I know it's not popular, Bapa, but like, come on, dude. The Yankees are pretty, dude. The Yankees beat the Indians after being down two zero. They got a good future. They got a good future. Like exactly, just like Sean said, like they're they are way ahead of pace to uh, being back to, to to dominating, like they were in the nineties. So the mark is made for the Jets to one ninety nine. You know you gotta you gotta let somebody else win every every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly like that, Derek. You know, got, got to do it for the city. Got to do it for the city. No Ravens yet, Lucas, but we're on the last box, so uh, good luck to you. Bodine! What up, Bodine? And yeah, listen, Miami got hit, too, with a little something-something. It wasn't uh, super devastating, but, you know, but I remember being like, oh, man, you know, Hurricane Irma... Is gonna is gonna motivate the Dolphins to you know just ball out. Jake Cutler gonna be the MVP, but nope. Oh, Miami got extremely lucky, extremely lucky. That's probably why we you know we got spared. Oh, they signed Jake Cutler. Oh, they they're going through enough shit over there. Let me move on over to the West Coast. Oh, yeah, the Keys. Dude, you still can't go to the Keys, James Bodine. You still can't go to the Keys. I mean, you know what? Puerto Rico, I, I got family out there. I got friends and family out there, man. And, and, and I can barely communicate with them, dude. And it's... It's it's quite honestly it's 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 sad, dude. It's, it really is. Basically, Bapo. Basically, basically. That and fishermen. There's also that beans in abundance of them. Gays and old rich people. That's the keys in a nutshell. All right, last box. Good luck, guys. David Johnson to ninety nine for the Cardinals. What else we got here? To three ninety nine, Johnny Unitas for the Colts. Oh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. You know, I go to the Keys every now and then. And, uh, you know, it's fun. You know, the bars, like the nightlife out there is great. You just got to watch your back. You know what I'm saying? Zay Jones of the Bills with a badge.
I mean, we didn't really have back-to-back -back disasters down here. Well, yeah, we had Hurricane Ernie. Well, we had Jay, uh, Jay Cutler. And, and then we had, we had Hurricane Jay and then Hurricane Irma. Malik Hooker to three ninety nine for the Colts. Malik McDowell to ninety nine for the Seahawks with a auto. Franco Harris to ninety nine for the Steelers. Nothing going here to 99, Kirk Cousins of the Redskins. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, uh, yo. I can't help it. It's buffering. Let it buffer. Samahi Perrine, two-color patch for the Redskins. Well, listen, hopefully it's cold here for the winter. And that is the end of the break, guys. All right, so let me go through these patches. Make sure I don't have any autos mixed in there with them. I do not. So there was a 10 out of 10 Carson Palmer. That's kind of cool. But uh, let's get to these autos, baby. Semi Perrine. For the Redskins, Millie McDowell, Seahawks, Marcus May, Jets, Joshua Dobbs, Steelers, TJ Logan, Cardinals, Sterling Shepard, Giants, Marlon Mack, Colts, Adam Shaheen, Bears, Gerald Everett, Rams, Mitch Trubiscuit, Bears, Chris Godwin, Bucks. And Jamal Williams Packers. And that, my friends, was 2017 Donra Certified Cuts Football Six Box Half Case Break Number 12. eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get it out to you.